What's going on, Coog fans? Thanks again for checking out my channel. Uh, today, I've got my final prediction in for the Houston versus Arizona game coming up. Man, am I excited for this one. It's been a long wait for Cougar football, and in just a few days, it'll finally be here. As you know, the UTSA game got delayed, so this one will be our season opener. So, here's my prediction. Houston 34, Arizona 31. I think this will be a close one. Uh, we're, we're both pretty solid teams, but in the end, I think Houston comes out with the win. I think our run defense will shut down Arizona's running game completely. They do have some fast runners, but our D-line and linebacking crew will take care of it. If you remember, we had one of the best run defenses in the nation last year, and it shouldn't be much different with the return of Ed Oliver and Matthew Adams. Speaking of Ed Oliver, Arizona's quarterback should be under tremendous pressure for most of the game. The way Ed Oliver gets through the line and chases down the quarterback is unreal. Uh, sure, Brandon Dawkins, who is Arizona's quarterback, is dual threat, but remember the last time we were put up against a dual threat QB? Oh yeah, it was Heisman Trophy winner Lamar Jackson, who is one of the greatest dual threat quarter quarterbacks ever. So, uh, the main defensive keys for us winning is stuffing the run game and applying pressure to the quarterback the whole time. Now, it's hard to say anything about the offense, but nevertheless, I think we should be a pretty solid team on offense. So, we have an experienced O-line returning, a great group of receivers, and Kyle Allen at QB. I think he'll have plenty of time in the pocket to throw, and once Allen gets the feel of the game, he'll be throwing all over the Wildcat defense. Also, I'm expecting a much better running game this year with the return of Duke Catalan, the addition of Patrick Carr, and once again, our powerful O-line. At first, I think it'll be a slow start for us, given this is our first game, and 15 players on the roster have family that was that were flooded by Hurricane Harvey, so that could be a distraction. But over time, we'll regain our footing and pull ahead on the scoreboard. I'm looking forward to a great game, and go Cougs.